used to follow Jesus. I first heard of the Messiah who made reputation in Galilee while he began gaining followers. Remember the first time I heard him speak such powerful words, words like revolution, liberation, and justice warmed our bones that could be seen through our skin. Words that over time have become folklore. He lured folks in with promises of wealth from the kingdom like used to follow Jesus. Have you ever heard of Nazareth? They make a mockery of our poverty and say nothing ever good comes out of it. You quickly learn that the soldiers that surround our city are more barriers than they are shields. Tax collectors more magicians than mathematicians, reminding us that you can always make a percentage come out of nothing. With these types of conditions, you take the first savior presented. I used to follow Jesus. We first heard the Roman soldiers imprisoned him. I was outraged or maybe even less furious than the authorities that couldn't arrest him up until this point. So when I found out that on the Sabbath, Jesus would have a public trial with a chance to be released, my feet didn't hesitate for the opportunity to advocate for our Messiah. It was a custom that the governor would release one of the prisoners they claimed. So many emotions welled in my spirit as our savior took center stage, the crowd being swayed, the Pharisees dismayed, both prisoners restrained, as Pilate proclaimed, say the name of the captive that you want unchained. So I said, give us our Barabbas. Oh, did you not know Barabbas' name was also Jesus? So the crowd was choosing between Jesus Barabbas and Jesus who they called the Christ. I didn't attend this trial for the king of the Jews. I came for the conqueror. Oh, you thought he was just a petty thief? As if the authorities of Rome would waste the luxurious and honorable death of crucifixion on a mere pickpocket. Oh no, our savior, our Barabbas, was a warrior. Known as a notorious criminal because, you know, raising sword against sword is somehow a crime. Save your word thief for Sunday school. He did way more than steal to give back to the people. He led a murderous insurrection against evil, slitting authoritative throats, adding red to colorful coats worn by those that had us in a chokehold for so long. So long. This was my Jesus. I wonder if you would call him Panther. Call him Nat. Call him Malcolm. Doing whatever it takes with liberation as the outcome. Give us liberty or give us death as we give them death. The word freedom from the mouths of the oppressed sounds a lot like a threat to the oppressor. How dare they teach us violence and not expect us to use it in self-defense. Barabbas' riots provided wood to a house already engulfed in flames. So yes, these cold hands got a touch of warmth. I used to follow Jesus. Barabbas. But as they added my Messiah to the crowd, elated yet curious, I waited around to see what would become of this other man. Why has he been adorned with a crown made of thorns? Why does Pilate exude sympathy as he cleans his hands? Is crucifixion not enough? What purpose does a cat o' nine tail serve to a man already marching to the gallows? Backlash spewing from their mouths as saliva and soil serve as a salve for wounds of this man. Why do they follow Jesus? I've yet to hear someone clearly communicate the offense. They blare judgments of blasphemy, but the more I ask around the whispers of his witnesses, testifying of his ministry are much louder. I used to follow Jesus, but as I follow Jesus, he walks like a silent lamb in the shepherd's hands as if it was headed to get water, but led to the slaughter. As he's lifted up on a bloody cross that reads King of the Jews, I question his loyal subjects. Why do his disciples look so docile? There's no rebellion or riots. The eyes weeping are not salty with vengeance, but with tears, the taste of bitterness, as if they were dry to give you a thirst that could be quenched. We quench that thirst with anger through revenge. Revenge that danced the fine line between understandable and justified. The cross is no place for a king. Fight back. Fight back, Jesus. Priests and elders confirm that you have indeed saved others by mocking you for not saving yourself. 
how can the miraculous exist in weakness? Why? Why does he make it look so strong? I've never seen peace look so much like war. His last breath must have been a battle cry. As this hung man's head hung, the earth hung in the balance. Graves opened. The ground began to shake as knees submissively and forcefully hit the floor. I didn't know why people chose to follow this Jesus. But I knew I needed to know more.